This is a very common small 3.7 volt battery. So how can you increase its voltage by a factor of 10,000? Very simple. First of all, this is a type of power enlargement. Triode cutting off its middle pin positive and then taking a 470 micro for 16 volt capacitor and connecting its negative electrode to the collector of the triode. Then take another tap to switch to the emitter of the triode. This is a 33U1 watt carbon film resistor, which is connected to the other end of the switch at the touch of a button. Connect an EN40072 electrode from the resistor's other end to its negative terminal. This boost transformer connects to one end of the diode's primary coil. Then, use a 1mm thick copper wire to connect from the transformer's other end to the triode's positive pole. Take another copper wire and connect it from the primary coil center of the transformer to the positive electrode of the 470 microcapacitor. This is also the positive end of the power input. Finally, take another wire. We will connect the generator of the wire, the positive electrode to the positive electrode, and the negative electrode to the negative electrode of a 3.7 volt lithium battery charging and discharging module. This completes a generator that amplifies the voltage by 1,500 times, working on the same principle as an arc lighter. However, the structure of an arc lighter is much simpler. Not to mention that the arc can pull a long function is the same as that of an arc lighter and the paper towel can be easily ignited. Lighting a match is naturally not a problem, but this arc is still far from 10,000 times the distance. It doesn't matter? Then we will use a small device to multiply its voltage several times and prepare a total of three 4.7 NAF 1,600 volt CBB capacitors for storing and discharging. Next are the 1,600 volt high voltage diodes, requiring three and a 3,000 volt magnetic sheet high voltage capacitor, needing only two. We connected three 1,600 volt CBD capacitors in series. Once this is done, take the high voltage diode, ensuring the positive end of the color ring is not connected to the leftmost pin of the capacitor. Then, connect the next two diodes in series. Align with the direction of the first diode and attach a 3000 volt magnetic sheet high voltage capacitor between the second and third diodes. The other end is connected to the rightmost pin of the CBB capacitor. One end of the last sheet capacitor is connected to the middle of the first and second diodes and the other end is connected to the end of the third diode. Take a copper guide wire from the leftmost pin of the CBB capacitor and a copper guide wire from the rightmost pin of the CBB capacitor. These two copper wires are primarily used for electrical discharge with a one centimeter gap in between. Next, we take out our 1600 arc generator, which has two terminals connected to the end of the third diode and the rightmost pin of the CBB capacitor is a voltage multiplier effective for moving up and testing its effect. The gap between the discharge ends is too close, cut it off and throw it away. So we got the working principle of the taser stun gun again. The electric pressure is quite woofy and scary, so non-professionals please don't imitate it. Although the voltage difference did not reach 10,000 times, the current became very small. Now even matches one light.